Hey, again, welcome back from the weekend and to another week of read alouds. It's Mr. Lone, and as always, I'm thrilled to be with you to share some books. And on a day like today, I get to sh I get even more excited to share books with you because a new box of books uh, arrived, and I get to pick through some of them to share what is coming into the shelves here. And I am reading today a book called "It's by Janet Summer Johnson: A Bad Case of the Almosts." And I think some of us have dealt with this, the almost, once or twice in our life. Here we go. <clears throat> Abby had a bad case of the almost. At home, she almost beat her brother to the bathroom. She almost got the last cookie. She almost finished cleaning her room almost doesn't count. At school, she almost got to be first in line. She almost got 100% on her science test. And she almost got to partner with her best friend for the science fair. Sorry, Bella already asked. Almost even followed her to the science world. She almost got sick on her favorite ride. She almost she was almost tall enough, maybe next time, she almost had enough money. Almost, almost, almost. It's almost every time. When Abby almost slipped in a mud puddle, it was the last straw. The almosts win. No more trying, no more hoping, and no more science fair. Abby almost threw her project straight into the trash when, are you okay? I almost fell in this exact same spot. Lucky you. Almost would have been nice, the girl replied. Did that girl just say lucky? Could almost actually be a good thing? When she got home, Abby decided to investigate. The almost study. Question. Can almost be good and bad? My hypothesis. All almosts are bad. Experiment, observe my almosts. Keep track. At breakfast, mom informed her they were almost out of Abby's favorite cereal. Abby was about to write it under the bad column when mom slid a full bowl in front of her. This is the last of it. We better grab some more after school today. At school, Abby almost got to the got to complete the entire science project on her own. Want to turn? I love one. So close, Abby. Good, great work. She almost earned the star student prize. At the store, Abby almost lost pig. Then she almost got a treat. At soccer, she almost got hit in the face. Wow, that was close. She almost scored a goal. Oh. At the pool, Abby almost jumped off the diving board. You can do it, Abby! But she was a little too scared. Or was she? Abby paused. What if I'm only almost too scared? She closed her eyes, took a deep breath, and, 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 splash! Just to be sure, Abby tested out that almost a few more times. She even helped her brother. But I'm gonna. But I'm too scared to jump. What if you're only almost too scared? That night, Abby studied her chart. She definitely had a bad case of the almosts. But maybe that wasn't such a bad thing after all. When her mom came in for story time that night, Abby snuggled in. Wow, you're almost too big for my lap. Her mom said. Abby grinned and snuggled closer. Thank goodness for almost. Abby discovered that almosts can be both good and bad. Though we can't choose the almosts that pop up in our lives, we can choose our reactions. Start at the bottom and follow the, de the decision tree arrows to see if your choices lead to sunshine or storms. So boys, I'm going to hold this for a minute. You can pause it if you would like to go through this. 
But I love how this book definitely paints a picture of how, depending on how we reflect and react to things, you know, some things can be positive and negative, and it, we have a chance to view things in a positive way. So that was a bad case of the almost. Hope you enjoyed it again. I'll be back with more read alouds this week. Have a good night.